What's up everyone? Today we thought we were taking you guys for a treat. We actually are taking you guys for a treat, but I don't think it's open. We are here today at Chinsigat Hill um, Retreat. It is on, it's an old plantation. It's a big, beautiful house. I brought you guys here one other time, I think, and wasn't able to get in. So I looked it up, it's open till five o'clock. We're here and we can't get in again. So I have Thomas Sabo with me, I have Henriette with me. Um, I guess we're gonna turn around and show you guys this place. They have a lot of new stuff. I know that during 2020 with all that was going on, they closed the place down and they did a lot of um, upgrading. So we're gonna walk you guys around and um, I don't know if we're gonna get in the house or not. It does not look like, can we get in? Oh, it does not look like anybody's here. So, um, but anyways, let's go check this place out. All right, everyone, this is Chensicott Hill. It was once a big plantation. This place is beautiful. The grounds are beautiful. Um, I know that you can have weddings here. Um, here comes the car, guys. Don't get run over. It's so nice. Look at this. Now we looked it up and thought we was gonna be able to go inside and see the house. Sadly, we're not going to be able to. Maybe if we had came early in the morning, maybe it's volunteers and maybe they, you know, could be, yeah. they could have already left. There was a sign on the door that volunteers needed. Oh, well we should volunteer. <laughs> This place is gorgeous. See the chimney goes right through the window. Oh wow, it does. You're right. Wonder why. The chimney goes right through the window, guys. Thomas noticed that. Wow. Yeah, I noticed that they have a lot of sign, different signs up and a lot of different things. I looked up on the website. Um, behind me is the little cemetery. If you guys remember, I did a flower project there once. There's um, all them signs are everywhere. Different signs that we can read. But I want to take you guys up and we'll look in the windows. One of these days, I'm going to get to go in here and take you guys in here. I don't know when, but one day I will. Yeah. Can you see in here? Oh wow, you should see that couch, Thomas. It's so old. Oh my goodness. Look at all the rocking chairs. It reminds me of Cracker Barrel. Wonder why they got this all closed off. Maybe so the sun doesn't damage things, because sun will damage some stuff down here. Oh, look at the stairwell. Wow. I'm trying to get you guys every view that we can get. Look at that. It's so cool to see spirit up at the top of that steps. This place is gorgeous. My dream home, guys. My dream home. <laughs> you should peek in there. It is so nice. With the wraparound porch. I've always dreamed of a wraparound porch. Look at this. I would definitely love to bring you guys and get the history and everything. I think it was only like five bucks to do the tour through the house. Even just walking in there, guys, and see what you feel. You know, chances are you're going to feel something. You're going to feel the history, like me being an empath. Me being an empath. 
Um, I feel a lot of things, guys. I feel a whole lot of things. Look over there. I'm trying to block it so you guys can see. Look at that piano. Amazing. It's gorgeous. Look at all the rooms. This house was built in the 1850s, guys. I don't have exact year, but it was the 1850s. Oh, 1847. Oh, okay. Well, then I was wrong. I read online 1850s. Wow, 1847, guys. Can you imagine? It's going to be 200 years old here in a few years. Now, I think this, how, this piece was built later, but I'm not positive. I'm definitely going to get you guys a story one of these days. Definitely. The grounds are gorgeous. The house is gorgeous. Can you imagine this being your family's plantation? Big old plantation. There's a kitty kitty. Well, hello. Hi, buddy. You gonna run? Oh, hello. How are you? What's up, huh? You got a home here? Oh, I bet you got a beautiful home here. Yeah. Oh, well, hello. Doesn't anybody pet you? You're liking this. Yes, you are. You're liking this. Hello. All right, guys. This is the other end. With the pianos. Look at that cabinet there. Oh, I want to go in so bad. Oh man, I want to go in so bad. Dang. I thought this is something perfect because Thomas was in town and I was going to get to take him and darn. But we've made several good videos for you guys since he's been here. Look at that fireplace. It's got three mantles. Can you guys see that? Three mantles. Wow. Let's go down here. That's the back side of the steps. Oh, I wish I was rich. I'd buy this house and live here. <laughs> I would definitely buy it and live here. I love it. Oh, and these are closed off. So we have, what sign did you see? It was um, on the front. Okay. Wonder what this house is worth. Yeah. Oh, I need to, I need to, um, I need to wind. Okay, so it's Chensigat Hill, built in 1847, has been placed on the National Register. Um, Wow, 1847. It's amazing. It really is amazing. And the property. So I would have to have like a what a couple million dollars, you think, Thomas? Or you think yeah. you think more than a million? Oh yeah. Wow. Yeah, if I bought it, I would definitely live in it. And then I would rent it out for paranormal people. <laughs> yeah. Alright, I'm gonna walk out this way and see the signs. There's some really cool stuff around the back. Um, do you want to take some pictures? It's, it's pretty neat back there. You can get married here, guys. You can rent the place out and get married here. It's probably a fortune, but you could do it. Oh, this is talking about the wedding. Chensigat Hill, Hill her, the, 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 historical site. The Chensigat Hill historical site is from is far more than just a wedding pictures worthy wedding picture worthy home on a central florida hill the land upon which you are standing and that sprawls around you 
has a human has a human history that spans what does that say millennia prehistorical people Seminole Indians wealthy American plan planters planters enslaved individuals politic political crusaders and more wow this sign what does it say this sign that dot of the property tell the story of the people in the Florida which have lived here and walked the grounds oh wow usually they have one of them little things you can scan it with your with your phone and you get the whole story but out here guys there's all kinds of historical signs do you want to walk out this way mm -hmm. okay Now these signs, if you remember, I came here with Angie one time. I think I've been here a couple times because I did a, a little flower project in the cemetery out front. Um, these signs weren't here. Garbage as treasure. What does that mean? What did they find? I need to get pictures of all this. Hopefully you can hopefully you can see it. What did they dig up? The golf? Let's see. Some magical garbage. They dug in 2014 and found some magical garbage. Read about the trash human. I will have to put the picture up. You guys will have to stop so that you can read this if you want to read this. They found animal bones, tools, shotgun shells, gold banded gold banded china and more just from one spot that they dug here on the property wow I wonder where they dug at was it wonder if it was here these timbers were found glass bar tum tumblers, tumblers yeah. oh wow so I bet you all the stuff that they found is probably inside. You think? Yeah, I would think so. Oh, wow. That is so cool. There's so many of them, guys. You come here, you're going to get your exercise. It just tells a little bit about it. The Hill's long environmental history. All right, guys, so I'm going to just take pictures, and um, you'll have to stop it. Out there, guys, it doesn't even look like Florida. If you look out there, it looks like, I mean, we are up on a hill. This is a hill in, in Florida, but it looks like the mountains out there. It's so amazing. And I think, I'm not positive, but I think you can rent those places out back there. But I'm not positive about that. Look at that. That is just gorgeous. And my car is parked there. So it's like, this is my house. What? The top middle window. I see something to the left? Yeah. I do see something. Henriette saw something too. Yeah, she did. Is it still there? Because I, oh yeah. I was going to say I zoomed in and I don't see it. Wow. I think there's spirit in everything. This house was 1800 and something. I guarantee you 100% that there's bodies buried here that, that they don't know about. I mean, we do have the cemetery out front, but there's graves also out back. Um, I guarantee you there's other bodies that they don't know about. Now, if we go down that path over there, all those places, I think you can rent them, Thomas, but I'm not positive. Prehistorical. Look at that. Is that the stuff they found?
before long before Columbus crossed the Atlantic. Oh my gosh, 12, 12,000 years ago. Holy crap, that's crazy. I need better pictures probably. Wow. Look at the size of these trees. You know they've been here yeah. hundreds and hundreds of years. That one's like up on a little hill. And look how wide it is. It's probably at least, what do you think, Thomas? Four and a half to five foot? Yeah. That's exactly look at all the bamboo. I want some bamboo so bad in my yard. Look at the bamboo. Seminole Wars. I'm trying to get some good pictures, so hopefully they're turning out, guys. Just tells a little bit about the Seminole Wars. This is a lot of property to take care of, though. Yeah. You know, if you had to take care of it. I would have to be a millionaire. Own the house outright. Look at the window to the right at the top. But on the left hand side of the right hand window. Is there something there? I thought I seen something. Let me know if you guys see anything. Before we walk down to the back, we should get the tripod out of the car because okay. I have my old tripods in the car, but there's something down there that we could all get on and get our pictures. Okay. If we had the tripod, it, it'll work better. Look at this. This is census, census, did I say that right? Census records? All right, guys, check this out. The property's first enslaved. What does that mean, enslaved? Um, I think they're talking about sl the slaves. Resident built their home and raised their children on the ground just in, just in front of you. Out there? Oh my gosh. So what, the, the slaves built their property out there? Is that what that means? Aw. Yeah. So I wonder where their property is. I don't, I doubt if it's that. It no, could be. That looks but newer. I think they are new. I just, I see a car over there. Yeah. In the mid 1840s to 1865, more than 60 enslaved individuals lived on the, uh, lived on and around this hill. They likely cleared forests, planted crops, worked as domestic servants, and harvest, harvested area timber. Enslaved inhabit inhabitants far outnumbered the hill's white residents during this time. That means that they had more slaves than, than they were. Mm -hmm. Over 60 slaves. Is that crazy or what? Wow. That, that's ridiculous. Yeah. It's awful that people had slaves. Oh my gosh. I hope that you guys are resting in peace. It'd be cool to be able to read some of this stuff. I have issues like reading old cursive writing. Yeah, it's a lot different from what we're used to. Yeah. And I guess back then people could read it. Mm -hmm. I mean, I couldn't even read my mom's cursive writing. She wrote yeah, so I, small yeah. that you couldn't even tell what letters were what. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. So over 60. I mean, that was their families and probably their children too, but mm -hmm. wow, that's, that's just crazy. Makes me sad, guys, that people had slaves. You know, we do for ourselves, or we pay somebody to help us. We don't own them. 
Could you imagine trying owning the slaves? That's ridiculous. I'm looking at that building back there. That's giving me the creeps. I wonder if that that's newer though, right? Yeah, I think so. Okay. I mean, it's hard to tell what the slaves lived in. So, the South's plantation economy. Oh wow. I like all these old letters that they have. Check it out. Wonder if Henriette can read some of this writing. <laughs> she does a lot of reading for me and she um I don't know. I there's no way. All well all well and except I don't know. Not very good at reading it. <laughs> Let's see. That's not gonna work. You guys will have to zoom into the pictures. I'll try to post them on my Facebook also. All right, so how many more we got? We got one more back here. Hey Thomas, go dig me up one of them bamboos. <laughs> oh, see when me and Angie were here, we were feeling like there was people buried out here. Yeah. Maybe the slaves are buried out there. Yeah, that's what I think. I wonder where that sign is. What is it? That sign on, on the tree. Oh, I don't know. But um, we, I don't know, that we just had that feeling you know, that there was more back here than, than meets the eye or than that, that's talked about. Oh, that's just the name of the tree. Oh, it is. See, this was all overgrown too, I think, back then when we came. But I really feel like, you know, the slaves are probably buried out there. Because, you know, if there was over 60 slaves for how many years? Somebody died, you know what I mean? Oh, wow. I bet you they've never done radar on this property. But it would be a lot to do a radar on this property. It's so big. Yeah. Oh, I'm burning up. How about you? Yeah. I wore the wrong clothes to go to this place. Wonder what happened to Henriette? Where? Oh, okay. I want to get the tripod before we go down there. There's a really tall ladder, or it's like, it goes up in a tree, guys. It's for wedding pictures and different pictures, but I want to get some pictures back there. All right, this is the post-Civil War decayed. Let's see, let me get a picture of it. It's really hot, guys. Hopefully that turned out. A lot of history signs. I'm so happy that they ended up putting this stuff up because, like I said, it was never here before. It's a beautiful gazebo down there. There's a couple graves down there. I'm going to go get my tripod. <laughs> All right, guys. Thomas and I are talking about we're going to buy this house. We're going to move in. <laughs> it's so pretty. Oh, and then this right here, heck, we could rent this out. Yeah. You know, I could live in the big house. I could rent this piece out. Maybe it would pay for it, but probably not, huh? Yeah. Thomas thinks it's worth a few million dollars. It's It's got a lot of property, and it's the only place in Hernando County that sits up on a hill. I mean, we're way up on a hill. We'll take you guys down that way on the way back. But for now... We're going to go back down in here. There's a couple pretty spots to take pictures. I'd like to take some pictures on the steps. There's a gazebo. There's some steps that goes up to a tree, Thomas. See it? Can you see it? The steps going up to the tree. Oh, wow. We can take, see, I knew she, see, there she is. I knew she was just, just sitting there waiting for us. She's like, she's like that little five-year-old kid that runs off and goes and swings. <laughs> It is. It really is. What is that, Thomas? Is that a... That's not a house, right? Is that a tree that's leaned over? Yeah, that's a tree. Kind of look like the top of a house. Yeah, it does. Yeah, this tree is humongous. Oh my gosh. Look at the tree, guys. Out in your backyard. 
Yeah, that's like a little summer cottage. Yeah. You could probably, golly, you could probably rent, rent several of them. Plus, they have buildings over there for rent. That's a golf cart. We should have, we should have rode the golf cart, Thomas. Yeah. You could have drove. Look at the bench down by the bottom of the tree. What are we thinking on this one? Six or seven foot? Oh, easy. Yeah, maybe eight. Easy. Wow. Seven or eight foot. Look at the size. Down. That pipe's probably holding it up. Yeah. You think? Okay, well, I'm going to walk the grounds first. This is amazing. It's a beautiful gazebo down here. Look at the size of all these trees. You know they're hundreds and hundreds of years old. Heck, that one there? What are we thinking, Thomas? You think like a thousand years old? Or more? At least 500? So we can get some pictures of the gazebo. And then back here is the stairway up to the top of the tree. And um, you can do wedding pictures back here. Um, any kind of pictures. You know, graduation pictures. Whatever you wanted to do, you could come here and do the pictures. It's free to walk the grounds, you know, to go in the house is what costs money or to rent the places is what costs money. But other than that, it's free to walk the grounds. Now right here is a, is a grave site. Altar Oak. This is an altar oak. Look at that, guys. Golly. Eight or nine foot wide. It's amazing. It really is. It's amazing that it made it. What's you know, the, they got the wire up in there, to the bars up in there. Oh, yeah. this, I couldn't I really it read it. It's, you gotta come this way to read it. I believe that the lady told us before that, um, that um, they were buried right here. It's an altar. Oh, shoot. It's Raymond, Robbins, Margaret, Dreyer, Robbins. Now, I wonder, I'm not sure if they are the first ones to own the house or not. It's an altar. I guess you like those benches are to sit on or to, to kneel on and pray. Robin's family. Oh, it tells about them. If you want to read it. The Robin's family acquired this property in 1904 and repaired the house. For 20 years, this was the second home and retreat for Raymond and Margaret Robbins, both of whom were involved in progressive political causes. Margaret was head of the National Women's Trade Union League from 1907 to 1922. The Robbins family named this sale Chinzigit, an Inuit word meaning where lost things are found, and moved here full time in 1924. The couple hosted well-known Americans including Jane Addams and Thomas Edison on the property. Wow. That's amazing, but that was in 1904. So I wonder who was the original owners. Is this the whole family? It's the Women's Trade League. When was the, Thomas, when was the slaves freed? Do you know what year? Um, I, I'm not exactly sure. No? I, I think I know the year, but I don't want to say. Oh. It, you know, because. Yeah. Um, so anybody that knows when the slaves was freed, let me know. Because it was over 60 enslaved people that lived on this property. More slaves lived on the property than the people that owned the, owned the property, which is really sad, really sad. Now look at this, guys. 
this is so neat. You can take pictures. Um, we're going to go to the top. Who wants to go to the top? I do, I do. They should have built a tree fort up there or something. Twenty two steps, guys. Oh, wow. Oh, my. This is so neat. This is really neat. It's really peaceful. Yeah. I want to do some, I'm going to do some necrophonic up here. Where's Thomas? Yeah, I think he's scared of heights. Oh, okay. So he's down there. Okay. Well, I'm going to set up the necrophonic, guys. Are you right? Yes. Hey, he's taking a picture of you. I'm going to do necrophonic up here, Thomas. Okay. Alright guys, we're going to ask about the slaves. Alright. So, I guess this is the direction I'm going to leave you in. Here we go. Hello, my name is Marie. I am at the plantation of the Chensigat Hill. I was reading that there was more than 60 <laughs> slaves here. More slaves than, than, than people that lived here. Are there any slaves buried on this property? Where are the slaves buried at? <laughs> How many people are buried here? How many people total are buried on this property? He's taking the picture. Can you tell me the name of the first person that owned this property? Can you tell me the name of the people that bought the property in 19, what was it, 1904, I think it was? What were their names, the gravesite we were just at? Thank you for talking with me. I hope you're resting in peace. Can you tell me bye? Bye. 
Wow, guys. <laughs> there was a lot coming through there. I'm not exactly sure what all it said. I can't wait to listen back to it. Um, I want to go to the bottom of this and I want to take some pictures. But I think I'm going to take a couple pictures right here first. Alright guys, look at this. Look at all the um, ferns growing on the tree. It's a long ways down. Alright, here we go. I lost Thomas. Oh, look at those things out there, the wire bear, bear. I, I used to walk across one of them when I was a kid. You know, like turn it sideways and walk on it. That was so cool. Do you want to come up? No. Okay. It's so cool. All right, we're going to get some pictures, guys. All right, guys, I'm going to swing. <laughs> Guess what, guys? I'm swinging. Here we go. Oh, wow. What do you feel? I feel a breeze. I mean, so like. <laughs> it's so hot, guys. I feel a breeze. I hope this is really meant for people to swing on. It is. Can you imagine if I. <laughs> Don't say <Please>. that. <laughs> Did you just burp? <laughs> I'm laughing at your crazy self. I don't know how the pictures will turn out, Thomas. Take some pictures. <coughs> Ow. Swing in. This is my new property. I don't want to leave. <laughs> I want to live here. What do you think? I think it's awesome. Yeah? I just feel a breeze. Thomas, you have to swing. I just felt absolute it's happiness. It's awesome. Yeah, you did the breeze. I felt not like a kid, but like... Oh, you are a kid. No. We knew exactly. We predicted where you were going to be when we were over on that side. I don't know if we were filming what we were talking about, but what did we talk about, Thomas? Yeah. We predicted where you were going to be. I don't know. I just feel so calm and so happy. It says it's a place to find lost things, and I found my happiness here. Oh, okay. Well, then I guess you'll have to come here every day just to find some happiness. Well, you do that, too. You're my happy, too. You're having fun. Yeah. It's pretty cool. I wish yeah. I had a tree big enough to put a swing in the backyard. Me too. You know, when Haley was a baby, she loved to swing so dang much. And, you know, we, we were worried. We didn't let her go outside too much by herself. Mm -hmm. We put a, we got up in the attic and put a two by four over some beams. And we put her a swing in her bedroom. So she had a swing in her bedroom. She could swing so high in her bedroom. It was cool. She still remembers. Smile. That's what, oh! <laughs> I got that. <laughs> Oh, you were the cutest it thing. Was. It was flipping over. <laughs> it's awesome. The breeze is just amazing. Wow. All right. This is Thomas's turn. Are you happy? Uh, I'm happy that pulled off with that. Yeah. You pull off, Thomas. You will pull off. Are you looking at my camera or just looking at the ground? I'm looking at you. You're looking at the ground. I'm not looking at the ground. <laughs> All right. Thomas's turn. Thomas's turn. All right. Thomas is gonna get cooled off. Thomas oh, is going God. swinging, and he was swinging. <laughs> You will start feeling the breeze. Yeah. It feels good. You want him yet to push you? No. Okay. <laughs> no, because you'll fall <laughs> off. <laughs> wow. Oh, this I just feel there. absolute peace here. It's nice. That's all you're doing? Yeah. Do you want your picture when you're sitting on it? Um, I, I took pictures. Picture. Yeah, but you were moving. The swing was pretty cool. We are all burning up. It is so hot. And we wore long clothes. Well, I wore long clothes because we were going somewhere else that we may get ticks. But I think we're going to get something to eat and then decide if we're going to go to that place. But there's more to this place. You can rent 
You can rent the rooms over here, the, the buildings. I don't know what, you know, I'd like to come through and get a whole tour. But somewhere there's like a um, fire pit and um, there's a beautiful overlook. We'll go down there. Oh, bring the tripod. There's an overlook right there. Did you go up in, on the balcony? You're not allowed to. Do what? You went all the way up there? Yeah. What, and walked across here? Yeah, I didn't go up there because that was blocked off. Well, let's go. If it ain't blocked Hi, off, let's baby. go. Hi, baby. <laughs> you want to do it, Thomas? Hi. It's really Hi. pretty up there. You can see up I didn't know we were allowed to. Usually it's roped off. The only thing roped off is, like, the middle part where it, like, goes onto the roof. All right, guys. We're going to go up here. Oh, more steps, Thomas. Yeah. We're going, going up with my friends now. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. We can see inside here. Yeah. Look at the trunk. Oh, my there. goodness. Oh, it's that one's locked. Look at the trunk. You can see really good in these windows over here. Okay. Oh, they got their Christmas trees out. I wonder if they're going to do Christmas in July. I bet you they are. They'll probably decorate it for Christmas in July. I wonder if we can get this one open. Nope, they're all closed. Christmas in July, Thomas. Yeah. You think that's what they're doing? Oh, wow, look at this. This is gorgeous. Isn't that pretty? Oh. Yeah, it's gorgeous. One rocking chair. Let's see if we can see in here. Ha, <laughs> spider. Thank you, Penny. Albert. Yeah. yeah, probably not. Oh, here yeah, we can see in this one. Oh, this was one of the bedrooms. Look at that mattress. Oh, wow. Look at the chest to the left. Oh, my gosh. It's gorgeous. Antique city in here, Thomas. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, the balcony's awesome. Oh, there we go. Oh, she's got the gate open. Look at that chest. It's beautiful. Looks like they got price tags on everything. Maybe everything, everything's for sale. Because it looks like they got price tags on everything. It's like a, a meter thing. I don't know. Okay. okay. Wow. I love it. What you think? But there is price tags on everything. Or maybe it's just tags of where it came from. 2020 001 I don't know what that means. Maybe everything is for sale. Look at that. Lots and lots of antiques. Lots of them. And this balcony is gorgeous. Yeah, this just makes me want the house more. Mm -hmm. You see everything. Wow. It looks like someone's standing in that window up there, like a little kid. This one, you see where that tail thing is? Which window? That, where that tail thing is. Yeah, right here. Do you see? It the left like window, kid. guys, at the top. I do see something. It looks like a little kid. Wow. I don't know what I got on the necrophonic. Use, I swear. What you think? It's beautiful. <laughs> it's really beautiful. I wish you lived here. Look, there's more signs out there. Yeah, could you imagine if this was my house? Oh my fun. lord, guys. This would be amazing if this was my house. There'd be a room for all of us. <laughs> Who's gonna mow the lawn? You are. Me. Oh, look down there. There's like a 
you. house or something down there. Look at that. A little cemetery out there. Uh oh. Alright guys, so I'll take you down to that cemetery across the way. Now they let me go up inside there one other time because I was putting flowers there. But like, you know, you'd think they would keep flowers there. There ain't no flowers there at all. That's a wedding dress? I think so. What's it doing laying there? Oh wow, I wonder why it's laying on the balcony. Oh, it is. It's so pretty. Wow. I wonder why it's just laying there on the chair. It's so pretty. It smells like an antique. It's beautiful. Well, I'm sure it is an antique. How pretty is that? It's gorgeous. Oh, it's not recording. <laughs> it's stuck on zero. Uh, I wonder if this would fit me. We're not trying it on. I'm not <laughs> It is very beautiful. It's so pretty. Yes, it is. All right, guys. Make sure it's not dragging the ground. Um, I'm assuming it's Christmas in July. Huh? That window. Okay. Well, we're not going inside. Why should do that? I think Okay, but we're not sneaking inside. Look, well, here's the cat dish. So the cat does live here. <laughs> Yeah, this was blocked off before. We wasn't allowed to walk up here. There's the lazy kitty. Well, hello. Give him kiss goodbye. Give him kiss goodbye. Got your kiss, guys. All right, so right across the way is the cemetery. If if it rem if I think I, I don't want to I don't want to say what I think because I'm thinking that one of the people married one of the servants, but I'm not positive. I can't remember. Let's see what this says. Everington, Everington, Irvington, and Snow family grave sites. Members of the Irvington and Snow families are buried in this family plot. Francis and precious Irvington are entered are entered here alongside their children who died young. Edgar Snow, the child of Joseph and Charlotte Snow, is also buried here. Wow. I might have said that name right. What's the last name, Henriette? Where is it? Edrington? Edrington? I said er, er, I don't know. I said it wrong. But that's okay. That's all right. It seems like the lady had told me before that somebody had married a servant, but I'm not positive. Can you go in? Um, uh, they let me go in and put flowers in that time. So you just gotta, you know, you're stepping on graves when you go in there, but yeah. The college years. Chensigat, recent past and future. From eight from two thousand eight to two thousand nineteen, the friends of Chensigat and Hernando County took over the property and offered tours and accommodations. Beginning in two thousand nineteen, the Tampa Bay Historic Center, Mid Florida Community Services, Hernando County and dedicated community members have teamed up to tell the story of the land and its people. Oh, amazing. That's awesome. Look at the house, guys.
Yeah, I wish I could own it. But now that it's, you know, owned by Hernando County, nobody else will ever own it. They will always own it. Now, somewhere, and I don't know where, right down here is a, um, is a, a scenery to get your pictures taken. But somewhere there's like a fire pit. There's multiple places down in here to be, to be rented. This would be a cool place to, um, to rent out. Let's go down in here. Also, beyond that fence is somebody else's property. But this is still part of it. Right here is, look at the scenery. Oh my goodness. It's gorgeous. It looks like mountains. This reminds me of up north in, in Maryland, where I'm from. It's gorgeous. All right, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this video. Oh my gosh, this place is amazing. Hopefully, there'll be another time that I can get back and take you guys inside. Maybe even get a tour with the lady that can tell us the history of the building. Um, every time I try to come here, something, something happens and I don't get inside. Shout out to Thomas and Henriette for coming with me. What was that? Did you hear that? Yeah. I did. Wonder what it was. All right, guys. I love you. I'll see you soon. Peace.
Thank you.